Good morning. We're over here now in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 1 to 5. I'm glad you're coming and joining me here in this little corner, this tiny little corner, this little outpost on YouTube uh, as we're doing these little devotionals day by day because there's a lot of um, not so good things on YouTube and here is just a tiny little speck, a little island, and yet the Lord has given us opportunity to produce hundreds of little devotionals and I hope that some of these thoughts are being a help to you today. Well, straight in. Now, when he concluded all his sayings in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum. And a certain centurion's servant who was dear to him was sick and ready to die. So when he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, pleading with him to come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they begged him earnestly, saying that the one for whom he should do this was deserving, for he loves our nation and has built us a synagogue. Well, there's more to this story, and we'll look at it tomorrow morning. But just let's just take this part for a moment. So there's a fellow that's really sick. He's not being treated like other servants. Many times servants were just treated awful and, and, and beaten and left for dead. Uh, this guy, this, this guy loves his servant and he sends, he wants him to be healed. So he just believes that Jesus is all that he hears. That, you know, he believes that he is what he is said to be. And so he sends. And he sends an embassy of, of people to Jesus. Now, these people didn't know Jesus as well as the, the first guy did, you know, the guy that's sending them. Because what do they do? They bring him a, a, a tit-for-tat kind of, you know, um, reason. Why should you help this, this Gentile? Well, they're trying to make up reasons to help this, this non-Jewish person. And they think, well, yeah, this is a rich guy. He helped pay for the synagogue. So that'll be, you know, kind of our leading argument. You know, Jesus, you should do this for this guy because, look, he's, he's, he's helping us. He's providing material wealth to help at the synagogue. And, and that's nice. That's wonderful. And, uh, you know, that's actually very good. But that's not the reason that Jesus would do something for us. Jesus, Jesus doesn't say, look, you know, you know, do these 18 things and then, and then we'll talk. Jesus is ready to, to heal. Many times they brought in people to heal that, that had, had messed up their own lives. Their, their problems were from their own uh, ill behavior, their own sin even. And Jesus didn't stop and sort them out. Jesus just... Jesus was glad to pass out healing and help to them. He was just being good because there was nothing else he could do. It's who he was. He was good. So here's the motive. Uh, he's deserving. You should heal him because he loves our nation and has built us a synagogue, friend. We don't bring to God in any anything that should motivate God to do something good for us. We bring him a sin-spoiled heart. and We really uh, put a footprint of disaster on, onto planet Earth. Uh, what we need to do is just bring our our need, our humility, and just say, God, we we've royally missed this. We 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 we're in a we're lost here without you. Please please be our helper, Lord. We believe you. We trust you. We know you have good will toward us. That's the reason. But this this fella, he's deserving because he he built a synagogue. No, I'm sorry. No, that was that was not a, that didn't sway Jesus. Not one penny. Not one bit. Jesus just wanted to do good. And we'll see about that tomorrow morning. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus just wants to do us good. Thank you that, that we can be transformed people. And we're glad that this person uh, contributed and built the synagogue for these people. But uh, Lord, we know that you are just very much desiring to heal and help us now and draw us close to your heart even now. We don't bring any price, Lord, just to your cross we cling and we we want to keep on clinging to that. In, in your name we pray. Amen. Friends, may God's blessings be upon you, not because you deserve them. Uh, you don't. I don't. But because God is good and because he delights to give you the things you need. God bless you this day.